The boardroom where ideas come through. The boardroom power your idea. Have you heard this phrase? Target audience or target market. Anyways, target audience is a specific group of consumers most likely to want your product or service. The focus here is about understanding what they like, what they dislike, what they feel passionate about, and what you can say or do to elicit response from them. Understanding this is crucial because customer is the main reason for business existence. Without them, no company can thrive or survive. And so in doing this, you have to understand that gender is a major factor out of all other factors that affect consumer purchasing behavior. Research has shown that men and women differ dramatically in processing information and decision making. They differ in their perspectives, in their motives, rationale, and actions. Welcome to the boardroom. I'm Moses Ihenacho. Please guys, if you like this video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button so that you will always know when I drop an episode. Also, do me a favor by sharing this video. Thank you for doing that. Today, I'll be telling you the impact of gender on consumer purchasing behavior and how to sell to each sex. Now, women tend to be more comprehensive. They take both subjective and objective information into consideration. I will explain. By subjective, I mean women mostly look at things like customer reviews to make decisions why men tend to favor objective information. By objective, I mean the information that we can gather using our five senses. For example, men consider technical specifications and how it works. Let me also say that it is hard to convince men to buy something new or unknown product. Though to some extent, it can also be hard to sell a new product to some women. However, observations suggest that men are loyalists by nature, whereas women like to try out new products. Now, having given you some psychological background of male and female buying behavior, let me come down to marketing communication approach to each sex. I'm talking about the messages, the media that you can use to communicate with your target market. You cannot generalize your communication. A one-size-fits-all marketing communication approach is futile. As consumers today want to be acknowledged in a personalized way. And so I'm going to take it one after the other to explain this but women first. To better communicate or market effectively to women, I have five essential tips to consider. Number one, share women's story about your brand. One of the easiest and most overlooked strategies when it comes to marketing to women is telling women's story. Integrating women's story into the messaging of your branding can help your brand reflect and connect to women in and outside your target niche. Number two, make your advertisement more detailed. The modern female audience is savvy, smart, and doesn't need to be pandered to by outdated, patronizing marketing tactics. As a marketing communicator, you need to focus less on the general idea of a female customer and more on the specific needs of a target market that just happens to be female. Remember also that women prefer more feminine qualities in advertisements such as soft music, 
strong colors and evocative images. Number three, women want to be unique. Women want to see very fine distinction between what you are offering and other brands. So as a marketing professional, show your business personality and shape your client's perception of who you are. Your brand identity should project the expectations and promises you extend to your customers in terms of quality, service, reliability, and trustworthiness. Number four, women love to talk. Here, you have to consider a collaborative or conversational style of dialogue. If you're marketing to women, they don't want straight jacket commercials. Women love interactive scenarios. Number five, women love care and romance. Marketing to women is about catering to all their needs rather than just focusing on how they differ from men. I would advise you to make your communication affectionate, building generous personality, and don't forget to add emotional intimacy with others. If you do this in your marketing communication, you will capture the female market. Now, how do you communicate to men when it comes to promoting your products? Number one, men focus on specific, attainable, long-term benefits, not immediate and impossible gratification. For instance, men will not buy a car that is not their first color choice because the one they want is not on the car lot. Most men don't get moved by advertising that suggests how great it is to be one of the first to have a new product. Number two, men want to see the big picture. You need to show them the big picture as we, the men, think in a micro way, especially when it comes to large-scale purchases. Most marketers believe that price is key, that customer will naturally go for the cheaper option. But I argue that it's not always the case. What happens if the features, the benefits, the price are also identical? That's why you have to look into other aspects such as quality, loyalty, familiarity, and packaging and do something positive about your product. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's pretend you just tested out a new soap and you were pleased with the result. Not only did your skin feel fresh afterwards, but it left you smelling good hours later. Now, how many bags of this particular soap will you buy? Just one to tide you over? Or maybe a dozen so you don't run out? Your answer is as good as mine. Number three, convenience is key to men. Convenience is one of the components of the four C's marketing mix. Convenience is about how we address the buying process, addressing it from the customer's perspective. Men in particular want on time and on hurried appointment. They also appreciate confidential and relaxed meeting with providers. Number four, men are influenced by results from the major search engines. You should focus on building an effective mix of search engine optimization and pay per click to make your business effective within the search results. Number five, get the girls to sell to men. I remember one of my clients saying to me, I listen to how women describe what they do. I hear them say, I help people improve their teamwork or I help companies improve their bottom line. It works on so many men. It's a good strategy, so do it. Now you have understanding of the psychology of men and women buying behavior. It's time to apply what you have learned to your own marketing effort. If you need further help, you can reach out to me with the email address provided on the screen.
Now let me make this clear. There are observable differences between the brains of men and women and how they process information. Researchers emphasize that the differences do not reflect a superiority of a single gender. Many thanks for watching. For more episodes, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button, and share this video. I'm Moses Nyanatu. Bye for now. The Boardroom Where ideas come through The Boardroom Power your ideas